British Columbia is where Canada starts and where our trade with the Asia Pacific starts. Asia is literally right at our doorstep. Our ports are closer to Asia than those anywhere else in North America. British Columbia is the gateway to the Asia Pacific. Canada truly starts here. We have a natural geographic advantage. We are the fastest way to get goods right from the factory in Asia to the store in Montreal, Toronto, or Chicago. The value-added proposition here is just-in-time shipping, reliable network, and quick velocity of your goods to market. We're expanding and enhancing the Pacific Gateway supply chain to ensure we are the most efficient, cost-competitive, and reliable choice on the West Coast. The Pacific Gateway Alliance is, is made up of all the partners, the port authorities, the railroads, the trucking companies, the terminal operators, and together we work to make it successful. Trucking is the economy on wheels. It is moving cargo, consumer goods, it's moving food, hospital equipment, every essential item that we depend on in our everyday lives. The Asia Pacific Gateway is the key to the ongoing prosperity, job growth, and investment. Whether it's our airports, our rail systems, our roads, our ports, we depend on transportation as the backbone to our thriving economy. To make a seamless integrated system for moving people and goods, governments at every level and the private sector have committed more than $22 billion. And $25 billion more is to be invested by 2020. The Portman Highway 1 Improvement Project is the largest transportation infrastructure project ever undertaken in British Columbia's history. When the new bridge opens to eight lane capacity, commute times will be cut by up to 50%. That could save motorists up to an hour a day. This new Portman Bridge is now the widest bridge in the world. The SFPR will enable on-time delivery for goods and services across Canada and around the world. During peak traffic times, it'll cut commute times from a half an hour to five minutes. Trucks on the road means the economy is strong. And if we have a strong economy, that means we'll have a very strong tax-paying base that will support education, social services, health care, and all of the really important things that British Columbians deserve. The province of British Columbia has implemented tax stability for BC ports. The BC Port Property Tax Act is critical. It provides the stability to invest in port infrastructure. We now have the certainty of what our tax will be and that allows a long-term investment. This year we're going to invest over a billion dollars in expanding and modernizing our operations. Ramping Machine Works in Sydney, BC is building a new stacker reclaimer for Neptune terminals. This will enable us to double our capacity and meet worldwide demand for tech resources steel making coal. We're investing in rail capacity improvements to meet future demand. The Road Rail Utility Corridor will benefit all the cargo operations including grain, coal, potash and potential other brake bulk industries. CP is investing up to 90 million in our British Columbia coal supply chain. CN is a key partner in Canada's Pacific Gateway. Investments targeted to help create the right supply chains are absolutely critical. We've implemented new government policy to attract new air carriers linking Asia to British Columbia. 22 airlines agreed to add capacity on the strength of that commitment from the provincial government. Seafood products are shipped by air and ocean. Efficient transportation is absolutely vital to bring the product into the market on time. The rapidly expanding economies of Asia want even more of what BC and Canada have to offer. The increasing demand is driving our capacity expansion projects. The demand on our terminal is driven by the growth in Asia. $200 million of cargo is traded through this gateway every day. We have those abundant resources, the lifeblood of economies. China needs 85 million homes built in the next five years. India is in the process of building 200 more cities. Japan and Korea have huge needs when it comes to their own energy demand. Canada stands at the doorstep of some phenomenal economic activity. We have a vision for the future of BC's natural gas industry, an entirely new industry to be established in our province. The more we work to improve our supply chain, the greater our ability to trade. 
What we have here is biomass wood pellets produced in British Columbia, creating green energy and jobs in BC. The greater our ability to trade, the more good jobs we can create. So thanks to the shipbuilding project that we just won, we're going to create 4,000 direct and indirect jobs. But as an economic punch, it brings $15 billion worth of economic impact to the province of British Columbia for almost 20 years. The expansion is bringing a lot of high paying jobs into the community of Prince Rupert. And these jobs are all coming as a result of the increased demand in emerging markets like China and India for our commodities. By improving our transportation network, we will move more business in and create jobs. The more good jobs we create, the stronger our families and communities can grow. What we do allows people to move about, go and buy groceries, to get to your kid's birthday party or to a Christmas play. That's what's important and that's quality of life. Strategic investments in infrastructure will benefit everyone. Transportation, it's not the journey, it's the destination that's really important. With growth in Asia Pacific, we stand at the crossroads of an incredible opportunity for British Columbia. This is the prosperity we're working toward. The prosperous province and country that we are creating. By working together as partners in prosperity.